Hello once again, cat lovers. This is Anderson Pooper coming to you with this week's edition of The Wholesome Muse. If you're like most other lucky cat owners right now, you're probably benefiting from more time with your feline friend than you ever dreamt of. Many an owner can profess to the de-stressing effects that their cat's purring brings to them, and some of us need it now more than ever. While it's often thought that a cat's purr only when they're happy, cats are also known to emit the soothing vibration when they're frightened, giving birth, or even feeling ill. Scientists speculate that the frequency of a cat's purring can actually self-soothe and even promote healing. While my partner and I are currently without any furry companions, her ingenuity has killed two birds with one stone. Not only is she unable to rely on shadow and licorice's purring at the moment, she has to deal with my constant snoring each night. As such, upon waking up to the incessant drone of my snoring the other night, she managed to convince herself the sound was simply that of a loud cat purring, and presto, her frustration disappeared. Now, if only she could find ways to reframe the other noises that my body emits while I'm sleeping. If you're without a feline or a snoring partner, this site has you covered with its cat purring simulator that allows you to create your own co-regulating soundtrack. Our next wholesome muse story comes from the Rezo Secours Animal. Looks like my eight years of mandatory French education really paid off with that butchered pronunciation. The Montreal Animal Rescue Network shared with us the story of Vito, who was recently adopted after three years at the shelter. After some hard work by the shelter socialization team, Vito went from years of hiding in the ceiling to becoming the perfect, affectionate, curious, and playful kitty that was recently adopted by his forever family. Socialization team. I feel like there are more than a few of us humans who could benefit from such a team like that. Just saying. And now over to Cat Damon with this week's sports report. Cat. And thank you, Anderson Pooper. As the world slowly emerges from varying levels of lockdown, pro sports are finally starting up again, with the Bundesliga, or the German Professional Soccer League, being one of the first to start up last week. As not everyone is comfortable with such a quick return to normalcy, teams around the world have been looking for new talent to replace those of us who aren't quite ready to get back to playing. This particular athlete utilized his team in quarantine to work on his goalkeeping skills and created this at-home video to share with scouts. Hopefully he gets picked up by a team soon as I certainly know I'd be tuning in to catch his first real game. That's it for the sports report today. Back to you, Anderson Pooper. Thank you again, Cat Damon. And that brings us to a close for this week's Wholesome Muse. Remember, folks, just because others may be ready to jump back to normal life, we each are coping differently. As per a viral workplace guidelines post from a Canadian government agency that's been circulating recently, be kind to others and don't judge how they are coping based on how you are coping. Be kind to yourself and don't judge how you are coping based on how you see others coping. We're all in this together. Stay safe and keep those wholesome muse ideas and stories coming in. This is Anderson Pooper. Signing off.